Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting books in ink and watercolor. I did make a sketch, it will be available for download for my channel members and also for my Patreon members. I did just traced my sketch onto watercolor paper, made it onto, sketched it onto just a regular printing paper, then traced it. I don't like to sketch directly on my watercolor paper because if you at the end uh, end up erasing something you can just very well ruin your papers so I'm sketching on a regular printing paper and then tracing it onto watercolor paper. I did privet the paper and then on top of it with a little bit of a lighter brown. This is something similar to raw umber I believe you can use raw umber and a little bit of the pink. Again, this is something maybe you can use Venetian red for this. Add it first onto sides of my book where the pages are and then splattered some pink and also splattered same that lighter brown. And my paper is wet so the colors are bleeding but we're just blocking in all the shapes we're not doing any details at this point so it's fine if your watercolors your colors just go outside the edges of your book that's just fine so a little bit of the turquoise and green for one book and also a little bit of the red for the first one and you can see my paint is bleeding outside, but that's fine because later on when you do add a little bit of the details, those bleeds outside of the edges will create a nice looser look. I will be painting the top book for now in again that light brown and gonna do some splatters also with green where my leaves are gonna be a foliage. So just also going to add a little bit of the loose color there. I left it to dry completely and now I will be using this ink pen. This is, well, I guess a fountain pen. And this time I got that one just recently. And I actually, this is the first painting I'm trying it on. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying that because, you know, I have ruined too many of my ink pens, good ink pens on this paper that it's slightly, you know, has a texture on it. So we can easily ruin our ink pens. And I did want to try this one just to see how it will work and how it will behave. And I have to say, by now, I really do love it. It just takes a little bit of the time to get used to it because if you put a little bit more pressure you get a little bit thicker line. If you put a little bit less pressure you get thinner lines, broken lines. And also what I really do like about it is this one is not really waterproof. It is you know it reacts the ink reacts with water you will see that later on but actually I did take that into my advantage and in the end I really really do love it I'm using black ink and just going around my foliage adding a little bit more of the ink in the parts where the shadows are where veins are and this is quite simple and fun to use you don't actually scratch on your paper as much as with ink pens, regular ink pens. So I did wanted to thank you guys for well voting in my poll. That's I really, really do appreciate that a lot. A lot of votes has had been placed and this ink and watercolor won by 50%. So I believe the second was landscape with 37%. Uh, 
which I have to say I wasn't really very surprised but on the other hand I kind of was because you know I know that you love ink and watercolors but you know well thank you anyway so much for awarding and for helping me choose the theme for this video probably in the future I will be putting a little bit more videos with ink and watercolor I see that a lot of you enjoy enjoy are enjoying this this um, medium these mediums together so why not I love it also I love ink and watercolor so why not I will also be probably using this uh, not waterproof I usually by now I was used waterproof ink pens and well I did not really use and have the idea how it will behave and what would happen if I use this uh, ink that it's not waterproof but you will see it's quite a nice effect just takes a little bit of time to get used to it and just knowing that it will happen and expect that or you can do your watercolors fully first finish your watercolors and then on top add ink so there is no risk of bleeds so going over the book I'm just adding a little bit more of the ink on the parts where I do want to slight shadows or some contrast at the edges of the books and papers also I did wrote in the text for my books well I if you are not using a waterproof ink pen I do encourage you not to do that leave that for the end if I was really thinking at that point so I did do just instinctively I did do my all all the text and at the end I really wish that I haven't done that because it will smudge and that's not that's one thing that I really didn't like I would I would really rather like it if I left that for the end and just did it when I finished with my watercolors So again using same color this is something again similar like a raw amber for the pages of my books and for books themselves again some pink I'll be using same colors that I used for first layer and you can see that I'm not painting one even wash it's just adding a bit of the paint where I want to make it slightly darker and this time I did not wet the paper but I'm painting dry on wet and well also you can see how my ink is bleeding slightly and but you know at the end it does create a little bit of the shadows and contrast very very high contrast to usually I'm not that brave to make that high contrast in my paintings my um, difference between my lights and my shadows darks is not usually that strong so this was such a nice thing you know when I just smudged that ink it was looking really really nice and I loved it I loved that contrast that it created so you can see I'm just going around those letters that are gonna bleed yeah that's not really what I really liked but it is what it is also one more thing I wanted to tell you and to say thank you thank you thank you so much to each one of you now we are officially community of, of over 80,000 people so wow thank you so much thank you to every each one of you I really do appreciate your subscribing to my channel and being here being here with me and going through all this journey so I was really really happy when I saw how we you know what we achieved and thank you again thank you so much so just going in between my foliage adding that red again I am touching a little bit of that ink and it is bleeding slightly but it's also creating some shadows and looser look on top some splatters to add a little bit of whimsical feel some magic to our painting and 
For the flowers, I will be using this violet color. I don't know, this one, what can you use? You can maybe use Mother Lake or maybe again some, I don't know, mix of Mother Lake and Ultramarine. Yeah, that, that would be the color, similar color. And greens, I'm going over the edges of my greens, not painting it perfectly. I'm quite loose with my watercolors here, with the flowers. I did also paint the second flower with yellow. Unfortunately, my camera stopped, so you didn't see it, but it was quite simple, again, similar as previously. And you can see how much it bled, the ink bled in the part in the lower part where I've added a lot of ink for shadows. So yeah, I've touched it too much with water. Maybe I would have wished it it's not so dark, but you know, it is what it is. Just go with it. A bit more couple of details here and there. And I'm gonna dry that fully. And now that it's dry, my second book looks very, very light. So I wanted to add a little bit more of the ink there. Just going to go on top. Now that this paper is dry, I'm going to go on top with ink just a little bit more to, well, add those shadows to make those shadows, those edges a little bit stronger. The ones that bled, I do want to make them slightly stronger and more visible. So I'm going to add that with my ink pen and also the text, names of the books. And that's going to be it. We're done. <laughs> so quite simple. Yeah, one more thing. Actually, I did use some lighter and darker pink to go over the edges of my pages just to create a little bit more of the texture there and just to add one more color there and with that I will be finished I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was your choice you wanted ink and watercolor not sure if you wanted books ink and watercolor or landscape ink and watercolor or cityscapes but there is time for everything I do well, I do believe I will be doing uh, more ink and watercolors this year. I do love that combo also. And I see you are missing my Inktober that I didn't do last year. So I'm going to do a little bit more ink and watercolors. Again, thank you so much to all of you. And thank you so much to my Patreons. I really do appreciate you guys. And thank you for joining my Patreon page. This video will also be available to my Patreons ad free. So if you want to check it out, there are also a lot of real time tutorials there. You can check it out. And thank you so much for joining me today, for being here with me, for subscribing to my channel, 80,000. Wow. And well, I hope I will see you next time. Bye.